Okay. So the next one that we are looking at is assertive sentence with interjections. And this is what it is. He said, Hurrah, I have won the match. He exclaimed with great joy that he had won the match. Second statement also, we see the interjection. She said, Alas, my brother failed in the test. She exclaimed with great sorrow that her brother failed in the test. Third one, he said, How lucky I am. He said in great wonder that I was very lucky. I said in great wonder that I was very lucky. My mother said to me, May you succeed in the test. My mother prayed that I might succeed in the test. So all the indirect speeches, the verb that is used is basically showing us the emotion of a person from the verb, the intention. So the interjection is changed to the intention that it wants the reader to feel. Therefore, an interjection in the reported speech uh, will be uh, having in the reported speech uh, mind it will be having a statement only and the sign of exclamation is removed but what has changed the reporting verb changes so uh, it would become exclaimed exclaim with joy or exclaim with sorrow depending on what is the type of sentence or speech mentioned over there then what or how at the beginning of reported speech is replaced by very or very great. So, I said how lucky I am. I said in great wonder that I was very lucky. So, how is changed to very. And since it is a, it is a surprise, it is a wonder that how lucky I am, the verb is changed to great wonder. Wonder. In an indirect sentence, the exclamatory sentence becomes an assertive sentence. This is very important that when we are changing the indirect, direct to indirect speech, especially the sentences with exclamation which we call as exclamatory sentences, they become assertive sentences. That means all the mark of exclamation is removed and it is made into a statement with a full stop. But the verb is the word that will denote the emotion. Then sub, some sentences which are optative sentences, that like the last one. So where the intention is for hope or prayer or wish may be replaced by might and the second person is replaced to the first person. So my mother said to me, may you succeed in the test? My mother prayed that I might succeed in the... So you, that is the second person, changes to first person I. May changes to might. And my mother said to me, my mother prayed that I may succeed. I might succeed in the test. So uh, some precautions that we need to uh, take off. Said and told have a very small difference. After told, we need to include a person. She said she wanted to go home. She told me she wanted to go home. So it will not be she told she wanted to go home or she said me that she wanted to go home. These both statements are wrong when we are using told and we do not use a word, uh, uh, sorry, a person or an object like we say or when we are using said and we use an object. Both the ways it is wrong. The ideal one would be she told me she was um, she wanted to go home she told john that she wanted to go home so another person is included and that is for the transformation of sentences from um, one form to the other in the kinds of sentences so thank you friends we will meet with another video which is again under transformation grammar